our first patient was expecting a normal day. And now they've ended up in accident and emergency. Let's see him get fixed. This is Accident and Emergency in Manchester, the place for all medical mishaps. And what on earth's happened here? Has he superglued his hands to his nose? Nose on, this is eight-year-old Max, and the problem is not with his nose. A few minutes ago, I realised that my lip was so, all swollen. Did he say he had a swollen lip? Yes, look. Ooh, it is swollen. But why are you holding it? When it touches my teeth, it hurts. It hurts if it touches your teeth. Got it. So how did Max's lip end up so large? Well, it's all a bit of a mystery. Max was having a normal day. He'd been to school, like normal. And then afterwards, he'd been swimming, like normal. And then he came home and had one of his favourite meals. Mmm, meat pie. Yummy. And then he sat down to watch his favourite cooking show. This is making me hungry. But just as they were getting to dessert, Max felt something funny going on with his lip. It started to tingle. And then it grew. And it grew. And it grew. Ouch! It really stung when it started going really big. I bet. And with such strange swelling, let's open the case of Max's mystery mammoth mouth. Has he had any allergic reactions in the past? Yes, he's got allergies to peanuts and white fish. OK, and he's not had no nuts or anything near him. So Max doesn't think he's eaten nuts or white fish, which he's allergic to. But with symptoms like this, he's taking a medicine called antihistamine, just in case it is an allergic reaction. Well, here's someone who can bust that lumpy lip. It's Dr. Sara Syed. So was it sore? Was it tingly? Stinging. It was stinging, was it? Yeah. OK. Did you feel like your throat was getting tight or anything? No. No. Dr. Sara needs to give Max a thorough examination to find out whether or not he's having an allergic reaction. Oh, can you just say ah for me? Ah. If he is, the biggest concern is that it could get worse and cause his throat to swell up, making it hard to breathe. OK, is that sore at all? No. OK, so there's no swelling at the back of your throat, which is really good. Luckily, Max's throat and airways are clear. But what about his lip? Is it from an allergy? It looks like some form of allergic reaction, OK? Um, just with there being the swelling and this tingling, it kind of all fits in with that picture. The good news is that the antihistamine has started to work and another 20 minutes later, Max's lip is looking smaller. How are you feeling? Better. Yeah? High five, antihistamine. What exactly has made him have that allergic reaction is uh, a little bit of a mystery. It seems like his immune system just responded quite strongly to something. It might be that Max has developed a new allergy. To try and find out, he'll return for an allergy test in a week's time. Take care. We'll be back later to find out how he gets on. Ouch. It's not just emergency teams in hospitals that are ready to help you. I know! There are medical crews all over the country on standby 24-7. We're on call with the UK Emergency Services, showing you what it's really like on the front line saving lives. On call with me is paramedic Jan Van. This is a state-of-the-art rapid response vehicle. It can get to the scene of a medical emergency in minutes. And I'm heading out in it to show you what it's like to be a life-saving paramedic. Jan can take 10 to 15 emergency call-outs in a day, and a new case is just in. We've had a 999 call to see a 32-year-old man who's got a rash and swelling in his mouth. Now, that sounds to me like an allergic reaction. So I've got my camera in the front, Eric has got his camera, and we're going to be getting you as close to the action as possible. Only a couple of minutes later, and we arrive at our destination. Hello, is it Alan? Yeah. Take a seat, my name's Jan. What's the problem today? I thought I had like a reaction to something. Uh, your tongue was swelling, your throat feels a bit. Tight, have your mouth wide as you can. But, uh, uh, so your tongue feels big in your mouth, does it? Yeah, I mean, it feels quite tight. Okay. I was a bit short of breath, but. Alan is experiencing something called anaphylactic shock, an extreme allergic reaction. 
Tigger and Sasha look concerned. So is there anything that you're aware of that you're allergic to? <laughs> Nothing that you know of? Although Alan's being pretty brave, he has a life-threatening condition. His lips and tongue can swell, and that causes problems with breathing and swallowing. So it's actually really important that Jan's here. What I'll do is I'm going to give you an injection into your arm in a second <clears throat> with a drug called adrenaline. Now, you may have heard of adrenaline. It's actually a hormone that your body makes. What it's doing, in Alan's case, is constricting the blood vessels in his tongue, in his lips, and will actually reduce that swelling. In cases like this, it can be life-saving. I'm sending um, Alan in the hospital today just so that I can make sure his tongue doesn't swell again. So the drugs I've given only work for a short time. How are you feeling, Alan? Do you feel like it's working? Yeah, I do feel a little, a lot of swelling is going down. Yeah. An ambulance has arrived to take Alan into hospital. You'll be right walking out, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Fine, yeah. It's potentially a life-threatening problem that he had, and Jan's really fixed him up. You could see how much the swelling in his lips had gone down, and that happens all the way down his throat and into his lungs. So that's really, really good news, and they'll be able to treat him really well in hospital.